Hi there and welcome to today's class. For this trigonometric class, we'll try to prove um, this um, equation, as you can see. We'll prove this trigonometry identity. Let us first, um, before, we, before we dive into the um, solving, let's, uh, let me tell you about this concept of trigonometry. I have created several videos for students that does, not, that does not know trigonometry. So if you're interested in knowing trigonometry from crash, I have created a playlist whereby you can learn trigonometry um, with ease, right? So for you to check out our playlist, for you to access our playlist or our full course on trigonometry, simply um, check the description of this video. I'll drop a link there to our playlist. So that playlist, um, there are several videos there on that trigonometry, starting from the crash, right? So um, do well to watch our previous classes on trigonometry so has to ease the understanding of this concept here all right let's dive into the um, solving of this problem so for the first one there i'm aware that one minus um cos squared theta all over sex squared theta minus one is equal to one minus sine squared theta how do you prove this concept solution please solution solution what is first i'm having um one minus cos square theta all over sex square theta minus one is being equal to one minus sine square theta. All right, at this point here, let's try to prove left hand side being equal to right hand side. So from, from the idea of trick identity, we know that um, we know that this one here. I'm having, we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? So if I take, uh, what's it called? If I take cos here, yeah, I'll have that sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So anyway, I see 1 minus cos square theta, I'll put what? Sine square theta there. So it means that for this one here, I'll replace it as being what? Sine square theta. All right, for the second one here, we know that for this down one, we know that 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to what? Sex squared theta. So it means that if I take this one here, I will have that tan squared theta is equal to sex squared theta minus 1. This one comes and becomes minus 1. So anyway, I see sex squared theta minus 1, I'll put what? Tan squared theta. So I will replace these two um, numerator and denominator by these two expression here. So I'm saying that one minus cos square theta, which is this one here, is equal to what sine square theta. So replace everything as being um, sine squared theta, right? All over we said sine square theta minus one, which is this one here. We give tan square theta. So have uh, tan square theta as you can see so i'm trying to prove this expression being equal to this so i'm picking out this now working on this one alone so i have this one here so from here what do i get at this point here i can inspire something what applies um, if i if i separate this all i have i'll have that sine square theta times one over tan squared theta sine square theta times one we give this one here yeah? next up um this time square theta is this one here yeah? so at this point here yeah, what's my next tax obviously for tan we know that tan is what sine theta over cos theta we give what tan theta so tan theta is equal to what sine over cos so similarly tan square theta is what sine square theta let's say i put square here yeah? The square will affect everything. So I'm saying that tan square theta is equal to sin square theta all over cos square theta, right? So I'll replace this one as being this here. Yeah? So I'll have that sin square theta, which is this, multiplied by 1 all over tan square theta can be expressed as sin square theta all over cos square theta. So I'll have sine squared theta all over cos squared theta 
at this point here, I'll simplify this. So I'll have that sine square theta multiply 1 divided by this line here signifies division by what? Sine square theta all over what? Cos squared theta. Apply the idea of reciprocal, what do I get? From here, I'll have that sine square theta multiply. This is 1. This division turns to times. This cos comes up, cos square theta, all over what there? Sine squared theta. Right? So I will invert. I get this one here. Multiply, uh, perhaps, perhaps, multiply through. I'll have sine square theta times 1 times cos square theta. We give sine square theta cos square theta all over what there? Sine squared theta. At this point, sine squared theta cancel out sine squared theta. I'm left with what? I'm left with cos squared theta. And we know that if I make cos squared theta subject here, I'll have that cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus, this one comes in sine square theta. So anyway, I see cos square theta, I can express this as being equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So replace cos square theta as being equal to what? 1 minus sine square theta. Proved. I have proved this one being equal to this, as you can see. We need to come out to prove this um, number one. Let me do two, and you do three as an assignment, and um, send me the answer to my WhatsApp number so I can reply you if you're wrong or correct. So I'll do one and two, you do three, right? Let's do um, example two.